Hey guys, this is Jurgar of Nerf Dialogue, and I will be going over the last fight in the Vault of Eternity. So this fight is a little bit more complicated than the rest of the fights in this instance. Uh, what you're looking at is a three-phase fight. The first phase is right now. It's on the central platform. It's very easy. You should have zero difficulty with it. The second phase, which you will see later, uh, is on a, a middle platform that's below this one. It's a little tougher, some more raid damage. And the third phase is the toughest. Uh, we'll get to that later. So right now you see we pulled. He's still in a shield. He's invulnerable for a few seconds. The shield breaks, and now the fight starts. Uh, phase one is very easy. Um, there's just a little bit of raid damage going out. You can see off to the right there's a blue AoE. Uh, obviously don't stand in that. And this phase lasts for 75%. And then at 75% he'll emote. This is important. And then the central platform. You see how there's rings in the platform? The central two rings will break away. You have to run to the outermost ring. And they'll break away into segments. And you have to keep going down and down the segments because the boss will keep destroying segments as you go. And it's also important to note, you see those things were killing the pylons on the way. Those will uh, depower the boss. He starts with about five charges of electrostatic something. And uh, each one of those you kill, takes off a charge, so you can take off all five fairly easily. Um, so yeah, you have to be careful, make sure you move as a group while jumping down. Uh, don't get scared if you don't see a platform right away, because they do come in phases, see we're just waiting for the next one to spawn right here. Um, it's important, it's very important to get all the pylons, but as I said before, it's uh, you only need five, so if uh, if you miss one or two, it's not a big deal, you just have to make sure that you get at least five. So now phase two is about to start. Phase two introduces a few new mechanics. The first one is a mind trap, which you will see in a few seconds. It uh, it traps a player. If you've ever done Sea Thun, it kind of it's kind of like that. It traps them inside something. Um, it traps them. You have to DPS them out of it. It's got about twenty thousand health. It's it's very manageable. Um, you can see it spawning off to the left. Uh, hopefully, NDK, who is our resident frapser, will get. Uh, mind trap soon so you can see what's going on. He also does a, well, you see that lightning ball off to the right. Uh, in phase two there's only one. In phase three there will be two though, so you have to get good at dodging these. Uh, they follow a specific player and they detonate after about ten seconds. They will also deal damage to anyone who's in the path. And they do a lot of damage, especially uh, if you're grouped up with other people because it there is some kind of chain lightning effect. So you want to make sure someone's calling them out. And they spawn every, I don't know, every 15 seconds or so. Uh, and they're very, they move slow. They're very easily to avoid. Uh, you can see another mine trap is up. Those spawn every, uh, I don't know, I want to say every half a minute. Then also um, another mechanic that's very important is uh, he'll randomly select someone in the group. And he'll toss them around the room, bouncing them off the walls for about 10 seconds. And he'll land. Uh, it's a very heavy single target. Uh, it's manageable if you get, remember to get all the pylons, so make sure that you get all the pylons. So now phase three is about to start. Uh, the platform breaks away. That happens at about 30%, so, uh, be careful about that. Uh, it's another platforming phase. Make sure you, we usually take about two platforms, then group up to heal. Uh, there are some platforms that are easier than others, so, you know, use your raid leader's best judgment. Um, phase 3, you will have mine traps, uh, you will have two balls of lightning, you will still have the, the throw going on, but also at the very beginning of the phase, you can't damage him. He has a shield that absorbs all of his damage, you have to be, uh, there's another mechanic that's important, um, you won't see it right away because it takes a few seconds into the phase. Uh, what happens is, on the ceiling, or rather, above your head, it's not the ceiling anymore, you'll see a spinning yellow object spawn. And what you have to do is have your tank position the boss underneath that spinning object, and then when it lands, it'll take off his shield. You'll get about 15 seconds to damage him up, and uh, then he'll go back to his shield. So you have to make sure that you're getting people out of mine traps, otherwise you'll fall behind, especially if you stop DPSing the mine traps during the burn phase. Uh, we decided to stop DPS on the mine traps to switch to him when we could, 
because uh, his enrage timer is fairly quick. It's about 6 minutes, 30 seconds or so. And a lot of that time is spent jumping between the platforms. So you see NTK is inside the mine trap right now. It was very short, actually. We got him out very quickly. Um, it, it, it's nothing special in there. You fight against a normal mob. You don't even need to kill him if you don't want to. I mean, I always kill him when I go in just because I'm a Jedi Shadow, you know. Quick work of a normal mob. Um, so yeah, we can see that the yellow thing had hit him. He went down for a few seconds. Now he's back up. We got him down about 10%. Um, it's important to watch that thing though. Um, it will, yeah, it will one shot anyone it hits, especially even your tank. So you have to make sure that your tank is positioning him where the boss will get hit, but where he himself will not die or any other raid members will die. Uh, you can see the two balls of lightning. That's very important. That's probably the biggest raid damage uh, in this phase, as long as people aren't being stupid and you did manage to get all the pylons down on the way. Uh, the mine traps do speed up a little bit. You can, if you're a little slow, get two or more people in a mine trap at, a, at the same time. So it is important to keep up with those, or else you will fall behind on DPS or healing, depending on uh, a little bit of RNG who gets caught. And uh, that's that's more or less the fight. Uh, we tried them a few times, more than a few times. We tried them a while. Uh, it took us a while to get down all the mechanics because there were a few things that weren't clear right away. For example, uh, for a while we didn't know to take down the pylons uh, jumping on the way down. So what we had to deal with was uh, he would have, he would still have the five charges of electro something on him and that would enable him to deal more damaging abilities and also gives him an AoE shock bat, or an AoE shockwave. You can see right now NDK is being thrown around. Uh, in total the grab should do about, I don't know, I want to say like Six to eight thousand damage if you take in all the shields out, and you also got a close up on the spinning yellow thing. Your tank has to be looking up for that. But yeah, if you take down all of the uh, pylons, then you should be able to uh, survive the throw, no problem. Uh, so that's the kill right there. Uh, I hope you guys, you know, have similar success in your own raids, and continue to look back to this channel for other boss kills in the future. All right, good hunting, guys.